Welcome to All About Football. I'm Charlene Smith and I'm here to give you a quick update on what movements have been taking place in the transfer window. But before we get into that, there's three players that have been tested positive for COVID-19. Mbappe is amongst the three players which have tested positive for coronavirus and will miss the France versus Croatia game. The other two players that have tested positive for COVID-19 is Manchester City's Riyad Mahrez and Amaric Laporte. Both should be available for Man City's first game of the season, which is taking place on the 21st of September, where they'll take on Wolves. Right, so moving on to the transfers. Aston Villa seem very keen to get Martinez on their side. Now, their first bid was for the value of £10 million, but they have now put in a second bid for Martinez for £20 million. We've seen the form that Martinez has been on, which is probably why Aston Villa is so keen to get him. To be absolutely gutting if he does move over to Aston Villa. Um, he's been consistently performing well. Um, and if we don't sort of get that same performance from Leno matching, then that would be a big loss for us if Martinez does move over. While we are on the subject of Arsenal, Felipe Anderson has also been linked with a loan move from West Ham over to Arsenal. The loan move is believed to be around £5 million. And Everton have now confirmed their two new sign-ins. Alan and James Rodriguez have both been confirmed that both players have signed at Everton. Newcastle have been busy. They've signed two players from Bournemouth. Callum Wilson and Ryan Fraser. Callum Wilson has signed a four-year deal for £20 million. His words were, from the minute I knew Newcastle were interested, it was definitely something that appealed to me. They've also signed winger Ryan Fraser on a five-year deal as a free agent. Newcastle are also interested in some Arsenal players, Rob Holden being one of them and Enkatia being the other one. Now, both players have been linked with a loan move to Newcastle. It has been reported, though, that the Rob Holding move has been put on hold. So, I mean, considering how many options Arsenal have got, you know, on that defence line, Rob Holding moving over may be a good shout. Um, you know, now that we've got Gabrielle signed, uh, Saliba there, you know, it's perhaps going to be less likely for him to get some minutes in. So we'll see how that progresses on. With Eddie and Katia, I would perhaps keep him at Arsenal, maybe just until the next transfer window. Another player that is linked to Newcastle is 22-year-old left-back Jamal Lewis, who is currently at Norwich City. So he's due to go for a medical, and it's believed that Norwich has accepted a £15 million bid for him. Sheffield United have gone for a hat-trick of signings. So the three players that have been confirmed that have signed for the club is Jaden Bogle, Max Lowe and Ethan Amp. So both Jaden and Max have come over from championship side Derby County. Jaden is a right back and was part of Derby's Youth Academy. Max Lowe signed for Derby County in 2013. He had two loan moves. One was to League One side Shrewsbury and the other one was to the Scottish Prem side Aberdeen. Ethan Amp has joined Sheffield United on a one-year loan deal. He is a centre-back and defensive midfielder who signed for Chelsea in 2017. In 2018, he got a five-year contract with Chelsea. He was also on loan at Leipzig last season. Frank Lampard did say that he'll be spending this season out on loan again. Right, so there you have it, guys. A quick roundup of the transfers and potential transfers that have taken place. Let me know your thoughts on these in the comments below. I'm Charlene Smith and I'm out.